distracting me from my job. Thanks. <laughs> well, you just touched me. You're not supposed to do that, lady. <laughs> you can't just reach out and grab people. <laughs> well, now, why should I take orders from you government people? You're with him, right? I'm actually not a government Are you on the Gatsis campaign? I ordered a couple of t-shirts. I have one of these. She's having a problem. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Breaking.com. I can't remember if I already mentioned this or not, but Manchester Mayor Ted Gatsis is here. I think I did mention it. Anyway, he's been here for about 10 minutes at least. That has got to be the sixth or seventh cop I've seen here today. You can bet they vote. I'm recording. Hi. Uh, it's Dave, RidleyRidleyReport.com. Uh, breaking up on me, Dave. So, are you wrapping okay. up here? Alright, I'll find you. No, we still got another 10 places to hit. 10 places to hit. We've been in 15 and we have been continued. Okay. Good. Are you ready to do the B-roll of you? Do you want to do the theater first? Okay, great. Not your first rodeo. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. Exciting people are out there. They're supporting us. We're making the phone calls. Uh, we're driving people to the polls to get their vote. It's important that we do all the things that you need to do the last day of an election. And any superstitions that you've developed over the years? You've run for a lot of different offices. Is this it? See this it, my tie? I That's do, it. sir. That's it. If you take a look at the first time I was elected uh, as mayor, I had this tie on. Love that. And so you started the morning at what time? Started this morning at 6. 6 o'clock. Went off the ward uh, 2 to vote. Went to ward 1. It was 12, 11, and 10. Six, and out the hook six. So we had some fun times today. We've been doing a lot of that. Hey, you're distracting me from my job. Thanks. <laughs> well, you just touched me. You're not supposed to do that, lady. <laughs> you can't just reach out and grab people. You just stand at the camera. Well, now, why should I take orders from you government people? You're with him, right? I'm actually not a government. Are you on the Gatsis campaign? I ordered a couple t-shirts. I have one of these. She's having a problem. Hi, right, Dana, is that you? How about a bumper sticker? So you started at 6 o'clock, and this represents what number, Scott? This is number 15 right now. 10 more to go. We've got 10 more to go, so we're going to be out there visiting an awful lot of places and talking to a lot of folks. Exactly. I would stick around. That's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear on the election. Day, no question. Those undecideds, this is going to air, you know, before the polls close. Final pitch to them, sir. This is all about trust, leadership, and experience. And I think that I still want to see those categories. There's no question that the voters are looking for something to tell them. What do you think? And how is that going to be done? That's the voters are looking for. So if elected uh, governor, mayor, uh, will you still be pretending like I don't exist? <clears throat> and you, what is that with uh, reaching out and grabbing people? Is that appropriate behavior for a reporter? Should you be fired for that? Should the people stop watching you? And how are you too close to the government? And what's your name? Because I sure don't watch. Okay. Oh. 
Exactly is your position and role? You're not with the government. What are you with? You seem to be with the Gatsis campaign, from, from from what I can tell. Am I mistaken if I assume that? And what's your name? In barking around, barking orders to reporters. It's not a good idea, man. Don't do it again. So to, to make clear here, when she grabbed the camera there a minute ago, she didn't just grab the camera, she actually made physical contact with me. Now, I don't know if she was aiming for, like she didn't slap me in the face or anything, but it was like her hand made physical contact with my hand. So technically, that would be considered an assault. If you're not part of the elite privileged class, you might be arrested for something like that. I guess technically she could be too, but I wouldn't expect it. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen, uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully. Urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me. I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.